Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. What a morning. What a morning I have had. We're going to talk about that. Uh, it is Saturday. Very unusual for me to do a video here on a Saturday. January 9th, 2021. I had prepared a 42-minute long video for you. Um, well, I went to load it up on YouTube, and guess what? Nothing. I was like, okay, they shut me down. What's going on here? Well, that did not turn out to be true. Apparently, some entity got into my YouTube channel uh, and, and messed with it, and believe it or not, I got help from YouTube, and that's why I'm here right now. So uh, if you're seeing this video, everything is okay. If you're not seeing this video, I am right now very pissed off. Anyway, here's the deal. I want to talk about what's happening around us, people. Um, a lot of stuff is going on here. Some of it is, uh, well, it needs an explanation, at least from my perspective, what I believe we're seeing. We all understand we are living in an, a fake environment, an environment with fake news, propaganda, misdirection, look here, don't look here, uh, a mechanism to keep people divided. Now, let's define propaganda. What does Greg Manorino mean when he says we've been getting all this propaganda? I've been using that word for, I don't know, past couple of years, propaganda, a part of, a critical part of warfare, um, where the masses are told something that is not actually true, but are convinced that it is. In order for this to take effect on a mass scale, people have to be lulled into it. In other words, they have to be put into almost a trance or an hypnotic state. And then the suggestion is put into their mind and then you control them. It starts out with fear. You have to make people afraid of something. You also have to have a very charismatic figure pushing the narrative. All right? We watch this happen under Barack Obama. We've seen it happen under President Trump. And we're about to see it happen, possibly to a greater degree right now, under Joe Biden. There was just no doubt about it. People have no idea of what is actually going on right now. It's all about control. This is about control. Now, let's, again, step back and look at what is unfolding. We are in a global shutdown. This isn't affecting one nation or one state. It's affecting the world. Who has that power? Who has that power? So much power that they can shut down the world because of a virus that has a staggeringly high survival rate. Well, it's only one entity. It's the central banks. The central banks are in global control. They run everything, the economy, the markets. They're the ones who dictate how we can transact. Everyone is bought and paid for. You all know this. The government does not work for you, none of them. It's an act. It's a theater. And the person, the figurehead, again, they themselves uh, are lulled into a sense of mind control by the shadow government. The shadow government is the banks. You all know that. They run it all. So you don't have, like I've been explaining to you, it's not kings, queens, monarchs, or presidents that run the world. It's a theater. That person is put there by the shadow government. And I really do believe this. I think that person there is lulled into a, uh, a sense maybe they themselves don't even know of. They're, they've become hypnotized. They've had a suggestion put into their mind which they must propagate, okay? Re realize this, all presidents get 
a briefing every morning. They hear from agency, 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 and they get this briefing. So what does that mean? The president's the last one to know. And how these briefings are done, okay, could very well potentially lull that person that is getting the briefing into almost an unconscious, like a trance state, and then suggestions are put into their brain. For example, let's just talk recently. President Trump, prior to being president, candidate Trump talked about the stock market. It was a big, fat, ugly bubble. He explained how the Federal Reserve was artificially propping up the market. He spoke my language that because that's exactly what was happening. But when he became president, I'm, I'm just going to talk about this one thing and I could tell you, a, I could sit here and blab out, I don't know, for an hour, but this is just the one thing. What ended up happening? Well, completely the opposite. The stock market hyper ballooned on the back of the Federal Reserve doing much more than they were during under Barack Obama. We're doing the equivalent of a TARP program pretty much every day. So again, they got to get someone in there that has certain qualities. The president, if you look at Barack Obama, if you look at President Trump, if you look at Joe Biden, what do they have in common? They're divisive. They're extremely divisive figures. They must propagate division in any way that they possibly can. Then it has to be, again, propagated further by the media outlets. They must create confusion, anger, discontent. This is how they do it. This is a mind control mechanism on an epic scale. Now people themselves, and I'm gonna give another example. Um, I used to laugh and I used to, and I've talked about it many, many times on this video blog, how President Trump would explain, we need a weaker dollar, we need a weaker dollar, we need a weaker dollar, the Federal Reserve is wrong. Never once explaining to the American people how this would help them. Obviously it doesn't. It helps the corporations, it helps the corporate agenda. By devaluing the dollar, multinational corporations, they reap massive profits, but it doesn't help the middle class. I was watching a Trump rally where he was talking about how the Federal Reserve is wrong and the dollar is too strong. People were cheering, cheering at the top of their lungs. And I was laughing. I'm like, he's telling these people straight out, I'm gonna make your life a lot harder. I think we need a weaker dollar. Didn't tell people how it would help them. But the people in the audience were lulled into a hypnotic state, given a suggestion, and that suggestion became real. You understand? Recently, we witnessed the attack on the Capitol. Okay, what came out of it? A deeper, darker police state. We, we're already hearing news that there's apparently going to be, or they're trying to scare us, real or not, into believing that there's going to be an armed protest during the inauguration. What is that about? Control. It's all about control. And the control mechanism is going to get much, much worse here. Again, they're shutting down social networks. I thought that happened to me this morning. I was like, they shut me down. It's over. Well, I hope that's not the case. Like I said, if you're watching this video, then they didn't shut me down. If you're not watching this video, they shut me down. And I will have to think of something else to do to get my message out here because I really think this is important. But you have to understand the components to this. Uh, and this started... The meltdown of 2008, you have to understand what that was. That was the moment where the financial system died. I explained this to you at that time. They kept it on life support, still right now, via the Federal Reserve. Easy money, easy money, easy money. An economy today in free fall, stock market at record highs, going much higher. Well, again, <laughs> people don't get it. A lot of people think that the stock market is the economy. The stock market is not the economy, but people are lulled into that belief system, okay? So you have to understand, this whole thing is much bigger than it seems. Many of you out here have literally had a suggestion put into your mind that it has become real to you, okay? And it got passed on through, let's say, a president who was given a briefing 
was told this, that, and the other thing, lulled also into a sense of this is really happening and this is what I need to do. There's a, the shadow government, okay, runs everything. The shadow government is the banks. They manipulate everything. They dictate our lives. All of it. So to understand what's really happening, you have to realize who's doing it and what their agenda is. Their agenda is very simple, world domination. They shut down the world economy. Why do you think, for example, just talking about President Trump, China, 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 with regard to the coronavirus? Why? Distraction. Okay, whether he believed it or not, whether he was told that, that suggestion was put into his mind, it really had nothing to do with China. How did China benefit here? Did it help their economy? No. It helped the central banks. By the central banks killing the global economy, what are they able to do? Stop the money velocity, shut down the economy in total, print, 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 edges to a screen, and buy everything. The Federal Reserve, their number one goal since their inception was to one day become the lender and buyer of last resort. This is a global phenomenon. The central banks around the world are doing the same thing. This is a global takeover. Okay, so what else is going on? Once they finish with, with whatever figurehead they put in, they choose someone else. And that choice is not up to you. If President Trump would have gotten 100% of the vote, if everyone in the United States voted for President Trump, you would still have Biden, okay? The mechanism here, the voter fraud, real or not, doesn't even matter at all. <laughs> we don't get to choose the president. I, how do you think I was able to tell you that the stock market was pricing in a Biden win? Initially, I said Trump was going to win, if you recall. Then I watched the market. I read the market. The market told me Trump was going to lose. How do you think I was able to tell you that there was going to be a Democratic sweep in Georgia? The market was telling me. It's that simple. If the market is a language. If you can understand what you're being told, well, you can capitalize on it. And I don't think anyone out here can argue the fact that that's exactly what I do for myself, for anyone that follows my work. I understand the language, but I also understand the bigger picture. The bigger picture is very simple. This is a global takeover by the banks, which are the real government, the shadow government. Now, presidents are not elected. Presidents are selected. I know you've heard this before. In order for this system to work, they had to get an individual that was extremely divisive here. Started with Barack Obama, 2008, market crash. Bail out the banks, TARP program. What did the people get? Nothing. Okay. All well and good. He, it, Barack Obama ran his course. They needed someone else extremely, extremely divisive. Someone they could manipulate. And that's exactly what they got. Why do you think right now there's such division in our nation? Why do you think they shut President Trump's Twitter feed down? To get people angry. Why do you think they're, they, they're still putting Democrats against Republicans? Because you must be divided. You must hate the people on the other side. You must not be allowed to realize that we have the power. No, you must be kept divided, especially right now during this transition time. Why do you think Biden, Harris have now been chosen, because that's what happened here, had nothing to do with the election, chosen to take over here another extremely pair of divisive people. You understand? It's all about control. Police state, extending the police state, shutting down channels like this. I, I'm probably going extinct reasonably soon. And that's really what I thought happened today. But look, what I want you to understand is the environment you are, you're witnessing, if you're taking any of it at face value, you yourself have been programmed and the programming is not done. You've already had that post-hypnotic suggestion put in your head. When you're sitting there, anyone, and you're watching a president speak, a rally, it's, it's almost, you get to in a trance-like state. In order for 
a hypnotic suggestion to be put into your mind. You can't be in a rational thought. You can't be in your analytical mind. Okay, you need to be lulled into this other hypnotic state. I don't know another way to put it. And then once they shut down your ability to think rationally by putting you in a trance, and that's what they're doing. If they do it through the mainstream media as well. They put in the suggestions to you. And those suggestions manifest themselves in your mind and they become real. This is why it's so simple to drag the public along in any direction they want to and why they also need the divisive, charismatic person that will lead the people in whatever direction they want them to go. You understand? We witnessed it. Barack Obama, President Trump, and, and, and Joe Biden. There are some people that have, the, that have this suggestion so embedded in their mind that they still believe right now today as I'm doing this that President Trump will be the next president. If that's you, you need to reflect on yourself and understand that, and you won't be able to understand it either. That's the issue. It's like if someone were hypnotized and they were told to do a certain act when they heard a certain phrase or a certain word, they must carry it out. Many people are in that right now. They must act. The people that rioted and took the Capitol, they had no choice. They had no choice. An idea had been placed into their mind and it became so real that they would be willing to sacrifice themselves to die for it. You understand? That's the power of this. But it's not just a matter of the, the spokesperson, a president, putting out these post-hypnotic suggestions. They themselves are hypnotized via... They are morning reports. This is how it works. Nothing is what it seems, people. Nothing is what it seems. Joe Biden will divide this country even further. The elimination of the middle class is, is virtually complete at this time. Something I've warned about would happen from a decade ago. Extreme haves, extreme have-nots. Now, the people that are in the middle class are about to fall to the lower rung. They're going to fall into the nanny state. Many people want it. They want to be taken care of by the new government. Why do you think, for example, hundreds of billions of dollars went to Wall Street, corporations, bringing these corporations right into this new government. We don't have the same government anymore, quite obviously. We're getting a big shift here, too. This started before Trump. It started, really, during the meltdown of 08. Trump, maybe realizing it or not, helped foster this as well, bringing together the merger of these corporations and this new American government, this new world order. Biden, puppet. Okay. Yesterday I called Biden a moron and I called Trump a moron. Neither one of these people are morons. They're puppets. They've been puppetized. They've literally been hypnotized and subsequently take masses of people with them. I cannot be hypnotized. I've heard, that's something I've learned in my life. Uh, I can't be hypnotized. Many people can't be hypnotized. It's just an impossibility. But many people can and you don't need everyone to be hypnotized. You just need a certain group of people to accept that, and then you get the desired outcome, and that is leading towards more control. And we are on the threshold of more control, not just more debt, like I explained to you. I went off the deep end yesterday when, when Joe Biden said what I said he would do, issue trillions of dollars in more debt, came right out of his mouth, and I got angry about it. Debt is not the, the answer to the problems that we have, but it is the core foundation of what needs to be done for the central banks to succeed They've already shut down the global economy. This was not China. 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 This was the central banks. They run the world. It's the shadow government. You understand? I hope this makes sense to you. This lulling of masses into a hypnotic state, putting in post-hypnotic suggestions, true or, true or not. More than likely, a lot of it's not true. It's all fake. It's meant to mislead you. It's meant to keep you in fear, anxiety, maybe a sense of hopelessness too making you feel like you must act. Again, create the police state. You can see where we're going. We're going very deep into a police state, much more than we've ever even seen before. Uh, 
the taking over the over of the capital was a big part of it. Okay, and uh, it's it's going to get a lot worse. I I hope you understand that. But again, you do need to lay down here. You just have to understand what's happening to you. And those people that have already been hypnotized, they're in a lot of trouble. They've become zombies. They can't think. They're in, and it's not even their fault. Again, once the suggestion is put in their mind, once they're told something fake and they accept it as being real, they'll die for it. They can't, they have to be deprogrammed. And how that's done, don't ask me. I'm not that smart. But that, that, that suggestion must be taken out of their mind before they're able to understand what's going on around them, ever. Otherwise, they'll be lost till the day they die. It will never stop. It will never leave their mind, ever. But I would like to think, at least I hope so, that those of you that can see through it, I call it seeing through the dog shit, you can see through the dog shit, you have not yet been hypnotized, and you probably can be. You watch these figureheads, these presidents, okay, who don't do anything. They are, they are theater, just like Congress is. They don't work for you. The government does not work for you. This is the corporate agenda. A corporate agenda, that's all this is, to bring about a completely new government, a new set of rules, uh, more power, control, police state. That's what we have. And that's where we're going here very, very rapidly. All right, look, I'm going to stop this video now. I hope you got to see it. Uh, if you didn't see this, then my channel is pretty much done, I think. Uh, I hope to see you again. I really do. All right. I will see you tomorrow for my Markets A Look Ahead video. This has nothing to do with looking ahead, although I guess it does on a bigger picture. But I really want you to have a takeaway from here. What's going on? This is mass, mass hypnosis, mass brainwashing, mass programming. And we all know it. We all knew it was, it was coming. I just hope that maybe you can take something away from this and realize what you're seeing. It's going to get much worse. Watch the news. More fear. More division. They must keep that going. It has to be done. Look at what they're doing. Look at what these people are doing. Look at what they did to the president. Look what they're doing to this person. The fear, the anguish, the anxiety. It must be kept at an extreme level to work. You get lulled into that trance state and whammo. They got you. Me? I'm not afraid of a damn thing. That's why I can't, I can't be taken advantage of. And I hope that's you too. I love you. See you tomorrow.